blah, 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 whatever, yeah. I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Good morning, and uh, welcome back. Thanksgiving was yesterday, and uh, back in the truck today. Normally, when the elevator's ready for grain, I'd like to leave bright and early and be there when they open, but... Uh, Along with a little bit of snow we got yesterday, we got some freezing rain too. So, kind of hoping by the time I get to the highway, the piles have ran, there's some sand on the road, and whatever else they put in there, and uh, price will be gone. So, take it a little bit easier. Coming up on the highway here, we will, uh, I will, I would say we. I'm gonna get out here, see how slick the highway is, because I see a car that just went by going about 30 miles an hour. Oh, this might be a fun day. She's slick. All right, made it to the elevator. Not much traffic out today. Roads are questionable at best. We normally are pretty fair weather truck drivers. We don't like to haul in crappy conditions, but when they get train cars for canola, we kind of have to haul when they get the cars because they don't have storage for them yet. So that's the bugger of the deal. Time to unload. Well, we're all loaded up. Let's go head back for the elevator again to see how uh, nasty the roads are. This has not been plowed up here yet. Or it doesn't need plowing, it just needs some sand put on it so we can uh, get some traction. Elevator is not going to be taking any more load today, and uh, I gotta go home and wash this truck. Let's wash this thing, it needs a bad. Got some soap here in the cannon. Much better. Well, this is a place you've never been before on this channel. Uh, this is the wood shop. And dad used to do a lot of projects out here. Kind of got out of the woodworking project, hobby, I don't know what you're gonna call it. But uh, all the tools are still here. And right now, building bed frames for bunk beds. The other one's already getting stained in the shop. I got to finish sanding the plywood that goes in the bottom of this one. And then uh, we'll go stay in that, but that's what I've been up to for the last few days. Been uh, a couple days, I guess, working out here. Bottom frame, so this is going to go against the wall on one side. Second bunk, third bunk. Hey girls, what do you think of your new beds? Okay. Gonna be pretty nice for you to sleep out in the shop here, huh? No. Well, that's what this is all for. No. Yeah, it is. It goes in the house. Uh uh, shop. No. J jokes on you. Hey. That is so much prettier in person. 
Man, God's paintings are the best. All right, back to farming. Got the uh, bunk beds all finished up. I got the tail loader in there warming up and the white truck is loaded up. We gotta drop the grain trailer, hook up to the flatbed, go load up, and we're gonna head for the ranch with a load of hay. Alfalfa. We are all loaded up, strapped down, heading to hit the road. About 175 miles from here to the to Travis's ranch, so uh, a little little ways to go here today, and we're getting a late start because of two sets of dead batteries. Service truck or service pickup this morning had a dead battery and or a bad connection, I guess, that I ended up breaking, and this truck was just a little bit low on voltage for some reason. I don't know, something must have got left on. But we're going now. bins here. Um, I am going to run out of the four-wheeler, grab that tail loader, and bring it back to the building for the night. I built those spears to uh, haul this four-wheeler, but they work pretty good for loading trucks, too. I've had some people ask, do you really not have to scrub with the foam? And yes and no. Black trailers for sure are harder to get completely clean. They, I don't know, they're just black. They show everything. So right here, it is scrubbed. Here is a line where it's not scrubbed. So every time you wash it with that foam, the better it gets the more times you use it. So I am going to re-scrub this trailer, spray the foam on it and scrub it. It's way quicker yet than dipping in a bucket and all that mess. So the trucks though, they clean up good. I've, we've foamed these a few more times than the trailer has been, especially this trailer. This trailer hasn't been washed a lot. It works really good on farm equipment, maybe not so good on road grime, but it's still better than scrubbing every time to wash something. I'm going to wash this here in a minute. It hasn't been washed since harvest was over. Just the way it goes. Um, didn't, get, uh, didn't get everything washed, cleaned up like we like to, so I'll go bring the pressure washer out here. I'll do a little time lapse on this again too, and you can see how it works. No, I'm not uh, sponsored by MS Truck and Trailer Cleaner. If they want to send me a free drug, I wouldn't, wouldn't turn it away. Just, just saying. Well, I'm going to air up this truck so we can back it out rather than letting it run in here for a while to build air. All of our trucks have a fitting whether it's on the governor for the compressor like this truck or some of them hook up to a line that runs to a tank but 
all the trucks have some sort of an air fitting on them that we can air them up when they're in the shop here so this i gotta get washed off figure out exactly what's leaking there well i just took the truck out i uh, hate starting a diesel engine and then shutting it off right away so i'm gonna let it run for a little while i need to sweep in here and clean up a few things anyways so i'm gonna do that and then we'll go wash that truck off Alright, I did get everything frame washed off and everything else kind of pre-rinsed. Now I'm going to foam and scrub. Just to make sure it's really nice and clean. Especially like the aluminum tanks. They don't usually get super clean just by foaming. But since we drive a lot of dirt roads, they usually get dusty right away again anyway. So just foaming works for us. But this truck's going to get parked for most of the winter. So I'm going to do a good job of cleaning it up. Alright. That trailer goes on that truck, and that trailer goes on that truck, and this trailer goes on that baler. Oh wait, yeah, that uh, showed up yesterday. New piece of iron on the farm. It's one of those like triple stack for the bales in the field thing, so we can just grab them and load them on a semi. Looking forward to that. We'll, we'll do that in another video where we'll put that on that baler. We'll have to do some fabricating and running some wires and might be able to make a whole video out of that. So anyways, I'm going to move everything around, get the trailers parked, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Bunch of just random farm stuff going on. Got the uh, FBN flag put up, the fast egg flag and the American flag. Most important one on top, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be gone next week. We're going to be heading to the Farmer to Farmer Conference in Omaha for FBN. You can still get there if you want. We're going to put this video out hopefully Sunday morning. And uh, come check it out. If you don't have a ticket yet and are not a member, let me know. Message me on Instagram. Fast.egg.mt on Instagram. It's here somewhere. And link below. How does that sound? But after conference, we're going to be working on getting this new bale stacker attached to the baler get that all ready i think i don't know maybe we'll be hauling green when i get back maybe we'll be hauling hay who knows but uh this is a project that will need to be done at some point this uh summer winter for next summer yeah anyways forget hats are on the website water jugs if you are going to be at the farmer to farmer conference in omaha i'm going to have some hats there uh after the youtube panel where a bunch of us are on stage uh nick welker from Welker Farms, Ryan from How Farms Work, and Zach from The Millennial Farmer, and Meredith, this farm wife, will all be on a panel, and Jay Hill is moderating it, so hold on, people. We're in for a wild ride. But uh, after that panel is over, we're going to have some merchandise from everybody that's on that panel. We'll have something there. So come check it out if you're at the conference, and until uh, then, have a good one. We'll, uh, you'll see me in the next video. Really? More rain? Haven't seen that for about four days.